your grandfather was a great man. Michael, my son, and David, my son, I want to tell you about your grandfather and some of the lessons that he taught me as I was growing up. Of course, you know that when your grandfather was 48 years old, he had a, uh, he was involved in a very, very serious accident in which he lost his right arm and was crippled for the rest of his life. So what I'm going to tell you is really some things that I learned from, about your grandfather before the accident and some after the accident. Your father was a great man, and not because of the things he accomplished in his life. And indeed, he accomplished a great deal. He has many accolades, many plaques on the wall, many uh, letters from prominent people honoring him. But he was a great man for some other for some other things that he did in his life that I think were even more important. Number one, he was, after the accident, he was never bitter. Never once in his life did I get the feeling that he felt like he had been the victim in a situation. I hope you can remember that my sons. Sometimes that's a hard lesson to learn. We tend to feel victimized in certain situations. But I never got that from him. Another thing that he did that was really quite remarkable is that he always had a good sense of humor. He made people feel good. He made people feel good because he cared about them. He let people know that he was really interested in them, that he liked them, that he wanted to know them, that he wanted to be their friend. He respected women. Your grandmother was his jewel. He worshipped her, he honored her. I know he didn't like everything about her. She didn't have the same sense of humor that he had. I think that's why she married him. Be careful, my sons, who you pick for your wife. When I was a teenager, your age, David, you're now 13, and Michael, you're 15, my father, even though I was giving him lip, I wasn't doing the things he asked me to do. I wasn't hanging around the house as much as he would have liked. I was out, my, out with my friends playing, just as you are. You know, Michael and David, my dad, your grandfather, didn't play with me much. Didn't get much chance to do that. He couldn't throw a baseball and he couldn't, he couldn't run with me like I can run with you. And he couldn't do those things that we sometimes do together. But that 
didn't matter. Because I still loved him. Oh, sometimes, sometimes I hated him. He would get angry at me, and he would shout at me, and he would yell at me. Oh, I do that with you too, don't I? But I still loved him. Then, as I do now, he always taught me, he said, we learn best by example. Lead your life by example, and you will teach what you want people to learn. Use your life well, my sons. Value your time. Strive for what you want to do, because it's all available to you. You can do anything that you want to do. Anything. It's all on your plate. And don't, my sons, don't ever forget. Ever, ever forget. That I love you.